Hello, my name is Vanessa Alvarado and I'm a member of the Select Board here in Reading, Massachusetts. While I stand here talking to you today, our country is experiencing unrest. Another innocent black man has been murdered. COVID-19 and unemployment continue to disproportionately affect people of color across the country. Unemployment overall is on the rise and I know people here in town have been affected by job loss. At the local level, the select board and town staff have been dedicating time to prepare and anticipate for budget cuts, both short and long term. And I don't know about you, but my family has really struggled with crisis homeschooling. While all of this is going on on the larger stage, I am facing a battle here at home. The man that I beat for a seat on the select board two years ago, John Arena, has organized a recall campaign against me something that has never been done in the history of Reading. With everything else going on, it seems petty and reckless. To ask all of us as taxpayers to pay for a special election is unnecessary and wasteful. His accusation is that I delay the hiring of our new police chief. There simply was no delay. The town charter states that the town manager uh, is to recommend a candidate for police chief and the select board is to ratify that decision. I was honored to be a part of the town manager's extensive hiring process. The town manager put forward his candidate for police chief on January 31st. Within a couple of weeks the board had discussed it and on February 19th the board had voted unanimously to ratify David Clark as our new chief. As I went into that hiring process, I recognized the significance of it for our community. See, for years, we have watched the Black Lives Matter movement draw attention to negligent and abusive leaders. In the last couple of weeks, as I've watched the news, there are two types of images that have really stuck with me. One is of officers beating, macing, shooting, and arresting protesters. The other is of officers standing, marching, and kneeling with protesters. How cities and towns got to one of those two outcomes is based on the decisions and actions of their local leaders. As local leaders, we have a choice. We can rubber stamp decisions, we can look the other way, or we can be actively involved for the betterment of our community. Without a doubt, Hiring a police chief is the most important decision local leaders must make. And when it came time for Reading to have a new police chief, I didn't want to be a rubber stamp. I believe that every applicant for the role, every person within our public safety, and every resident within our community deserves select board members that take that responsibility, that duty, seriously. I am proud of our police chief, David Clark. I am proud of the strong statement he made condemning the actions of the Minneapolis Police Department. The town of Reading is not immune from racial bias or other issues. It's something I am trying to do better about educating myself on. And I believe David Clark is a partner for our community in those discussions. David Clark was the right choice for Reading, and how we got to that decision is just as important as the decision itself. This recall has shifted the focus from what is right for Reading to who is right for Reading and who is welcome here, which is why your vote matters. There will be a special election to determine if I am recalled and removed from my seat on the select board. I stand by the decisions I have made for this community I call home. This town where I'm raising my children. This town where I've dedicated the last six years as a volunteer in local government. With your support, I would be honored to continue that service. I'd like to ask you to please mark your calendar for September 1st and join me in voting as Neighbors United against the recall. Thank you.